another in the tournament vlog series so today I'm just on my way over to York playing in uh, the, the York One Star which is a great little tournament actually unfortunately they don't tend to do them that often over there it's only I think they, they did one last year and they've got the one that I'm on, to, on my way to at the moment so they, they, they don't do loads which is a shame because I think it's a great tournament and it's a fantastic venue it's at the uh, York Railway Institute and I really enjoy playing there actually it's it's obviously like a it's, it's like a huge building that was involved in the York Railways um, and it was I, I don't know for definite actually what they used it for whether it was to house some of the, the you know the trains and the, the locomotives that they had I think it was also used as like a recreation area as well uh, there's like an old running track that kind of like runs around the top of the building so it's quite yeah it's quite nice actually it's quite interesting and quite quirky it obviously hasn't been used for quite a few years uh, as a running track so um, uh, you know, it's almost like looking into the past a little bit really and seeing you know what people in the, the 1920s and the 1930s did to kind of keep themselves fit and active uh, when they weren't working so really nice venue the the courts that um that we play on are the, the decent size nice and wide as well as long I think the visibility in there is excellent as well so it's a great place to play so it should be an interesting format it's gonna be quite a long day so I'm fully prepared for you know some aches and pains and, and whatnot along the way um, I mean especially I've put quite a lot of, of work in this week because I've, I was in Birmingham on a training camp on Monday and Wednesday I've got a vlog for that actually that I'm in the process of editing and putting together so that'll be out soon so have a look at that when you can and then I also uh, you know I had a bit of a training session uh, yesterday as well with Phil Bowen so that was really really good so I've, I've been putting the time in actually recently I've you know, done a decent bit of training so really looking forward to you know hopefully reaping some of the benefits of that today uh, the format is slightly different to some of the tournaments that I've played before it's going to be split into sort of three different events there's going to be vets in the morning open at sort of around lunchtime and early afternoon and there's going to be a prize fighter event later on in the afternoon so the vets is going to be groups of four more than likely and then the top two will go through to a to like the main knockout bottom two will probably go through to like a consolation knockout so there'll certainly be probably four or five matches that i'll play 
tent there then the open is going to be a very very similar format actually groups of four and then you go through to uh, a knockout after that and then the prize fighter is just like a like an extra sort of competition that's at the end which is pretty much the same thing again actually i think it's it's basically like groups and then knockouts so uh, there's going to be loads and loads of games loads of matches uh, so plenty of content actually so it'd be really nice to you know hopefully there'll be quite a few good matches that i'll be able to um, to cover and let everybody watch so uh, yeah so it should be should be a really good day I hope you enjoy it all i'll try and you know i'll do some highlights of the matches and um, i'll let you know my thoughts and feelings as the day progresses and then i'll do a bit of a review at the end as well so um yeah so hopefully it should be a, it should be a good video and hope you'll enjoy it okie dokie let's get stuck in
Just stepped outside for a minute to get some fresh air. Um, been a been a quite a tough day so far. The standard here is excellent. Some really really good players, so it's not been easy at all. The uh, the vets didn't get to film the the, the group matches in the vets because uh, both Julie and Peter didn't want me to uh, to film, which is fair enough. So I managed to uh, win one, lose one in that, uh, which got me through to the knockouts. And then I played against uh, Simon Pugh in the, uh, the knockout, which I did film. And it was a really tough game. Um, he's, a, he's a top player, Simon. I, I think I, I played all right, actually. I mean, I think it's quite nice for me that I can, you know, play against some of these better players now, and I don't feel like I'm a million miles away from them. Whereas I think, you know, a year or a couple of years ago, certainly, I wouldn't have really stood a chance. So um, I think against Simon, that I kind of countered quite well. I think the problem was I didn't return the serves well enough. Uh, I didn't necessarily miss the serves. But I was just putting them, um, and I think just I was being quite predictable with, with my returns. Um, it was quite good actually because Daniel Broner, who is, I think Dan's about top 150 in the country, so he offered to kind of coach me through that game. And uh, I think that was the main bit of feedback that he was giving me in that match was that I was just a little bit too predictable. Um, I was also letting the ball drop too low on my forehand, which I know a lot of you will have, have heard me say that. It's definitely, um, you know, just something I just keep going back to all the time. So when I got in and attacked him and he moved back off the table and he lobbed it up, I was just letting it drop and then just kept lobbing it back. So I uh, really need to to work on that. Um, then when we played the, uh, so we're kind of like now into the open uh, singles. So in the group stage, I won one, lost one. I beat uh, Jack, I don't think he, he didn't seem like his, his heart was in it really, he didn't seem to be trying an awful lot, so that was quite straightforward. But then I played against uh, Andrew Leighton and Andrew had short pimples on his forehand, um, long pimples on his backhand side. And I just kind of like, I don't know, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't causing me like huge amounts of problems. But again, I was just, I think I made too many sort of like sloppy mistakes. Uh, he was pushing the ball deep to my backhand and I was trying to run around it a little bit too much. So I need to, need to do a lot better with that. Um, it's just something again, you know, like similar to letting the ball drop, this running around my backhand uh, to try and play a forehand, it just kind of keeps creeping in. If I, if I take, you know, if I think about something else for a minute and then somebody pushes it deep to my backhand, I'm trying to run around and play a, a forehand. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of common themes that are kind of coming through in these, but um, I, I had a really good game with him actually. I lost 3 0, but it was three tight games. So I'm through to the uh, the knockout stages now. So we'll see how we got with that. And then there's going to be the prize fighter event this afternoon. You know, lots of table tennis to play yet. Lots of things that I can uh, I can work on. Uh, so we'll see how we got on. How's it going? Fine. I've just been beating 11 0. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying it, Forster? Great.
see like running around behind me is a uh, it's like a running track basically that goes all the way around the top so I think that the people who used to work here uh, would use this uh, to go for a run like in the, the lunch break and um, the, the free time um, so it's, a, it's an absolutely fantastic venue really it's, uh, it's great to see old buildings like this that um, you know are, are being used for, for modern events the, uh, the stand here is just absolutely superb there's so many good players Really, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the stage now where the, the open singles is finished. I lost in the first knockout round, uh, and I think actually it wasn't even the first knockout round. It was the, it was like the pre preliminary round. I got through uh, second in my group, so it was a preliminary to go into the, uh, the main knockouts, and I got beat. So, and I got beat 3 0 as well. Um, it was a close game. I, I felt like I, I probably could have done a little bit better, but uh, he, was, he was a really, really good player. So. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed, but like I say, the, the standard is just so high. So I'm just kind of now waiting for the uh, the prize fight event to start, which is the last event of the day. I believe the format for that is groups, and then the um, winner of the group will go into one knockout. The player that finishes second goes into the second knockout, and third goes into a third knockout. So there's kind of three different tiers, and I think there's some prize money actually that's available. So, so that should be good. So just a little bit of waiting around now, really, which is my own fault for getting knocked out so soon. But um, yeah, like I say, I've just kind of come up to the top here, just having a walk down, and you can see absolutely um, you know, superb view from the pier, so I'm quite enjoying it. So uh, we'll see how we go anyway.
Hi guys, so that's the end of the day. Uh, it's been a really, really long day. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot longer than, than I expected and I'm probably going to be in trouble because I, I, I need to get back to pick my little girl up from the babysitters and uh, I'm going to be back quite late. It is, it's actually like just after half past eight in the evening. Um, I played my first match this morning about ten past quarter past nine. So it's been like 11 hours worth of table tennis. So uh, it's been a really, really long day. But it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but the standard has just been like unbelievable. Um, it's been a bit of a reality check for me as well, because I think sometimes when you're playing kind of a lot of local league stuff, you get sort of wrapped up in a little bubble and you kind of think that you're doing well, you think that you're playing well, and then you come to something like this and you're actually exposed to, you know, a group of players that you're not kind of familiar with. And because that's, I think that's the interesting thing, because I've played, I obviously I play in uh, the tournaments in Nottingham. I mean, obviously that gets, you know, people from all over the place, but again, it tends to be like the same groups of people. So, you know, you get to know everybody quite well and you know what to expect. But with this being in York, it's just like that, a little bit higher up, a little bit further away, you've got lots of people from, you know, around, you know Sheffield, Leeds, uh, York, Harrogate you know and all those kind of places but yeah it's, it's just kind of it's blown me away a little bit like how good everybody's been but on a positive note I would say that, um, that what's been really interesting is that I played against a couple of guys who because I didn't know who they were I didn't know how good they were and like the, for example Andrew Layton who I played in the uh, the open group uh, I lost 3-0 to him, but I kind of came away and I almost felt a little bit disappointed that I'd lost. Like, no disrespect to Andrew because he was really, really good, but I, I, I was genuinely a bit disappointed. Then when I was talking to him afterwards, I found out, like, he's in the top 200 in the country. So I think that's really, really interesting that, you know, some of these guys that I've played and that I've lost to today are actually ranked really, really highly. So it's kind of, it's been a reality check, but it's also kind of boosting my confidence that, you know, I don't feel a million miles away from some of these you know, really, really good players. And I think, you know, if it had been a year ago or two years ago, you know, I'd have I'd have come away from this and I've just I'd have just been like, now it's just too good. Whereas I didn't really feel like that with anybody. Um, just to kind of recap the uh, the the final part of the day. So uh, the the prize fighter group, playing Luke Truman, who I only saw Luke a few days ago in Birmingham on the training camp. So. Luke didn't have his best game today. I think he was getting a, he was a little bit disappointed in himself, but I beat him 3-0. He didn't really play as well as he as he can play. He wasn't quite aggressive enough. He was you know, just a little bit passive, made a few mistakes, and he allowed me to kind of control the game. So I ended up winning that quite comfortably. But like I say, Luke, he was he was well below par really. And then Matt Shaw was the other lad. Now obviously Matt is I think he's probably top 300 in the country, so maybe not quite as strong as some of the other lads, but. He was uh, really, really good. I struggled with his serves a lot, and I found that he was doing some, um, especially like some sort of backhand serves and some side spin serves. I just couldn't do anything other than uh, return the ball to his backhand, and he was just ready for it, and he was just like pummeling it past me. The one plus point in that game was that he struggled with my serves too. So there, there was a lot of, I think the, the third game, there's a lot of to and fro where I'd miss his serves, then he'd miss mine, then I'd miss his, then he'd miss mine. So it was um, a bit of an interesting one that, but again, you know, I, I kind of, I felt like I gave him a good game. So that was encouraging. I got through and then w one of the uh, not really nice things about this afternoon is that I played against a, a chap called Chris Knowles and I played against Chris probably about two years ago now in a Vets uh, what was it now? Um, it was like a Vets League match and he was representing like Cumbria and I was representing Manchester and we played them at Burley Moss and he beat me comfortably that night. I couldn't really get into it and he beat me 3-0 whereas today I beat him 3-0. So that was like a really nice indication of some progress that I'd say I've made over the last two years. Um, he played, did play some good stuff but I think, you know, I really controlled that game. So that was really, really nice. You know, so a bit of a you know, a little sort of like a small ray of light in there. Um, that was the first knockout of the the prize fighter stage. And then the second knockout, which was the quarterfinals, I lost to a big tall lad called um, Jonathan Carey. And uh, lost 3-0, but I, it was, again, one of the things I was really happy about is that I was 2-0 down, 10-4 down, and I got it back to 10-all. And I just couldn't quite finish that off. 
So, you know, he, he played really, really well. He exposed a weakness that, again, I struggled with a lot of short serves to my forehand. So that's an area that I've got to uh, really focus on and really address. Uh, I just I couldn't seem to like flick or push or do anything. I just kept making mistakes all the time with that. But credit to Jonathan because his serving was really, really good and there was some good mix of like backspin and flow and, and whatnot. So I would say that I think the the overriding thing today is that I played against some really, really strong players. I actually got close to a lot of them. I, I kind of felt in myself that I was never going to quite have enough to get back into the matches. There was a few times where I was... 2-0 down and then I was leading in the third set you know even sometimes like 8-4 or 7-3 but I just always felt in myself that I was not going to quite finish it off so that was you know, a little bit a little bit disappointing but like I said the level of player was exceptional today um, and probably a lot stronger than a lot of tournaments that I've played uh, you know in the past so it's been you know been really really uh, a really good day though I've really enjoyed it lots to learn from you know I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, like I say, it's been a, it's been a long day. There's lots of really good footage, and I'll see you all again soon.